Hey everybody, Boone here from Boone Loves Video. I have a quick tip for you today. This is a great quick tip. Uh, shortcut keys that I use on a daily basis, the Q and W keys. Now these Q and W keys, when you use them on the timeline, they perform a uh, ripple trim, which I didn't, uh, I use the ripple edit tool a lot, but I never used this ripple trim keyboard shortcut um, until recently, and I've been editing on Premiere for a long, long time. It wasn't until I watched a tutorial by this uh, daily vlogger who who uh, would, you know, each day he had a ton of footage to edit, so he would just bring all of this raw footage onto the timeline and quickly go through it and uh, trim it all up. And he would use primarily the Q and W keys to to trim, and I started doing that because I, I like to do the same thing. I put all my raw footage in the sequence, and then I quickly, a lot for a lot of projects, I go through and just trim a bunch of stuff. So let me show you. So let's say, for instance, we've just dumped a couple clips onto our sequence here, and I'm playing it back. And, and for this clip, we have a quick like zoom in at the beginning. So I want to get rid of that. So to quickly get rid of that, I put my playhead where I want it, and then I press the Q key. And uh, the Q key, by pressing Q, it performs a uh, ripple trim to the previous edit, whereas the W key performs a ripple trim from the next edit. So if we play back and we find where we want this clip to, to end, we can just kind of go back a little bit. And you can see right here, now when I press W, it performs a ripple trim and brings everything back. Now you can very quickly, and you, you can just do this without even touching your mouse or your trackpad, just between, with your three fingers, you know, using the space bar and the Q and, key, uh, Q and W keys, you can really quickly uh, go through a lot of footage and trim everything up. And in addition to the Q and W keys, if you use um, modifier keys with them, they will perform slightly different things. Like if you don't want to perform a ripple trim, if you just want to perform a trim, you can hold the... Alt key. So right there, I just held the Alt Q key, and it did a trim. And now we see the gap there. Um, so it's not a ripple trim; it's just a trim. So, and also another modifier key. If I drag this out, and let's say I want to expand this, um, we can do uh, Shift. Hold Shift, and then if I hit W, it's going to basically extend that next edit out to where my playhead is. And if I do Shift Q it's going to extend the previous edit uh, to where my playhead is. So again, play around with these. Uh, again, I didn't know about these Q and W shortcut keys for, for a while, and now I literally use them every day. It's one of my main shortcut keys.